हेलो एवरीवन लाइक कमेंट एंड सब्सक्राइब वेलकम बैक टुडे आई एम डाइविंग यू इनटू अ टॉपिक दैट इज क्रूशियल फॉर एनीवन इंटरेस्टेड इन इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग द डिफरेंस बिटवीन सिंगल फेज एंड थ्री फेज इंडक्शन मोटर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी आर गोइंग टू सी व्हाई सिंगल फेज इंडक्शन मोटर इज नॉट सेल्फ स्टार्टिंग इट्स वर्किंग एप्लीकेशन एंड कंस्ट्रक्शन आफ्टर दिस वी आर गोइंग टू सी थ्री फेज इंडक्शन मोटर इट्स वर्किंग कंस्ट्रक्शन and application also we are going to see why three phase induction motor is self starting and why single phase induction motor is not self starting now let us talk about three phase motors as we know they run on a three phase power supply which consists of three alternating currents each set 120 degree apart this creates the rotating magnetic field that can start the motor without an extra help so it is self starting motor is composed of two parts the stator and the rotor the stator is the stationary part made up of laminated iron cores with slots to hold the winding the rotor on the other side is the rotating part and it usually comes into two types spiral cage and wound rotor let's talk about the stator winding these windings are connected to a three phase power supply creating a rotating magnet field as you can see the rotor sits inside the stator and is designed to interact with the magnetic field here is why it gets interesting when you supply ac current to the stator winding a rotating magnetic field is produced this rotating magnetic field induces a current in the rotor due to electromagnetic induction hence the name induction motor now you might wonder how does the rotor actually start turning as the magnetic field rotates it cuts across the rotor bars inducing a current in them according to lenz's law this induced current creates its own magnetic field that opposes the motion of the stator field this interaction creates a torque of the rotor causing it to start spinning the speed at which the rotor turns is slightly less than the synchronous speed of the rotating magnetic field the difference in speed is called the slip and it is crucial for the induction process to work to sum it up three phase induction motor are robust reliable and deliver consistent power reduce vibrations and last longer that is why they are to go for factories and industries Let's find out what exactly is a single phase induction motor. Picture it as a device that converts electrical energy into mechanical energy using a single phase power supply. These are the motors you will commonly find in household appliances like your ceiling fan, refrigerators and washing machine. However, single phase motor have a major downside. They don't start on their own. For an induction motor to start and operate a rotating magnetic field must be created in the stator this rotating magnetic field induces a current in the rotor which then interacts with the stator field to produce torque and causes rotation a single phase ac supply provides a single phase sinusoidal voltage that oscillates over time when this single phase ac voltage is applied to the stator winding of a induction motor it produces an alternating magnetic field that pulsates back and forth but does not rotate this pulsating magnetic field can induce currents in the rotor but it does not produce a rotating magnetic field necessary for starting the motor here comes the double field revolving theory according to double field revolving theory a pulsating magnetic field can be considered as the sum of two rotating magnetic fields of equal magnitude but rotating in opposite directions when the motor is at rest these two opposite rotating magnetic fields equal and opposite torques on the rotor resulting in a net torque of zero so motor does not start therefore the rotor does not start rotating of its own because there is no starting torque so to overcome this inherent non self starting nature various methods are employed to create an initial rotating magnetic field which helps the motor to start as you might have heard the name of split phase induction motor capacitor start motor shaded pole motor and there are various motors here we have a capacitor start induction motor single phase ac voltage is applied to the stator winding it creates a pulsating magnetic field however a pulsating magnetic field alone is not enough to generate rotating magnetic field as we have already studied which is essential for the motor to start so to overcome this problem an auxiliary winding which is physically displaced from the main winding by 90 degrees is used this winding usually has a series capacitor to create a phase shift resulting in a second magnetic field this is out of phase with the main field the interaction between these two magnetic field produces a rotating magnetic field so the rotating magnetic field 
induces currents in the rotor bars. As we know, according to the Lenz's law, these induced currents create their own magnetic field that opposes the change that causes them, the rotating magnetic field of the stator. This interaction generates torque on the rotor, causing it to turn. Once the rotor reaches a certain speed, we don't need the auxiliary winding. The motor then continues to run on the main winding alone and the rotor inertia maintains its motion. We have seen how the single phase motor runs. So you have seen the difference between the single phase and the three phase induction motor. You have seen three phase induction motors are self-starting, but the single phase motor is not self-starting. So now we are going to see what are the applications of three phase and single phase motor. As I mentioned earlier, single phase motor are perfect for lower power applications where simplicity and cost are key. Think of anything that plugs into a standard wall socket. On the other side, three phase induction motors are used in high power applications where efficiency and reliability are paramount. You will see them driving convoy belts, pumps, compressors, and even electrical vehicles. To sum it up all, the choice between single phase and three phase boils down to the specific needs. If you are working on a project that requires a lot of power and efficiency, three phase motors are your best bet. For simpler, lower power applications, Single phase motors will do the trick just fine. And there you have it folks. A quick rundown of single phase versus three phase induction motor. I hope this clears things up and helps you in your journey to becoming amazing electrical engineers. Don't forget to hit the like button if you found this helpful and subscribe for more engineering insights. Until next time, keep experimenting and stay curious. Thank you very much.